If you're somebody that's into modular, but you struggle with the problem of only having two hands, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna talk you through some workarounds and patching techniques that allow you to control multiple things across your system at the same time. For me, this is something that totally changed the way I patch, so I hope that you enjoy it. So first, let's talk about the various different parts of this patch, and then we'll dive into this really exciting idea that was a total game changer for me when I first started to understand modular at a bit of a deeper level and the real power of it. So here we've got a kick drum, in this case, it's actually just a sample played by the Squid Salample. I don't normally do this, but um, for what I want to demonstrate later, this allowed me to do some really cool stuff with it. So next we've got this sort of uh, hi-hat sound also from the Squid. Nothing too exciting going on there. Here we've got some like field recordings that I'd recorded with sort of a handheld recorder just loaded into the Squid. And they're sort of being like reversed and skipped around in to give this layer of sort of textural electronic stuff. Next there was this sort of snare coming from a Kemi's Taiko, it's just like a real FME snare kind of thing. And then I've got this uh, extra hi-hat thing which is just the Mother 32 being triggered and it's just the noise through a VCA and a VCF. The next percussion part is the Fracture which is just doing like a sort of clappy thing and it's being modulated so the sound's constantly changing. Um, occasional gates into the reverb to give it these big bursts of space. Here's all of the sort of percussion parts together. And then in terms of melodic parts, I've got the bootler and I think it's the, uh, the wasp filter playing this sort of melodic line with the big reverb on it. And then from Ableton, I've got this um, piano sample. So here's all of those parts together. A little bit of swing there as well. That's all great, but when you're performing live, there's loads of things you might want to change across this patch, and there's loads of knobs you might want to turn, but you only have two hands. Quite often, for instance, in a transition, you want to be able to change more than one of those at the same time. Uh, so here's what I've done. I've got three macros set up, which basically means there's three ways that I can send like a voltage offset into this patch, but that voltage offset will go to multiple different mod modules and change multiple different parameters all the way across the patch at the same time. So let me just show you what each of those does in turn, and then I'll talk about how I patch them. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. And the third one um, is controlled by the foot pedal. Now the important thing here is listen what happens when I start to mix those up and do multiple macros at the same time. Or perhaps these two. Maybe just these two and no foot pedal. So what's going on here? So the first one of these macros, I'm using shades just to simply create a positive voltage.
So that positive voltage is going both into the fracture and increasing the frequency on the fracture. So you can hear all of the clap sounds start to get a bit higher. But then it's also going into clouds where it's affecting the density and the frequency of clouds and also the, the reverb on clouds. And clouds is just receiving a mix of the whole beat. So the next one is channel three on shades. So channel three on shades is affecting the pitch of the bass drum. So it's just speeding up the sample on the squid salon pool. But it's also bit crushing it. So you can hear you suddenly hit a speed spot where it starts to distort. It's also affecting the speed and the bit set of this hi-hat. So you can hear the hi-hat suddenly starts to get really distorted as well. And then the one on the foot pedal is going into warps, which is set up as a delay. It's affecting the uh, playback speed of the delay. And the delay is also receiving a copy of this full mix coming back out of the ES9. You know, and this is super powerful because it leaves a hand free to, you know. So this is just using one hand on the modular and I've got the next one ready to cue up the sample. Or I could just chuck in a bit of sort of more subtle mix up. There you go guys i hope you found that one useful um for me this was a real game changer when i realized that you know two hands is not the limit in modular you can use two hands and if you want probably be changing the position of every knob on the whole modular um you know you can get to really extreme places or you can get to subtle places with this um and for me it wasn't and for me when i started to work this out it really took my um patch into the next level um if you enjoyed obviously please like and subscribe um it does help and um does help this channel